One of my favorite pay-per-views of the whole entire year is this Saturday, the Royal Rumble, and I cannot wait for it. So let's go ahead and get into these predictions and get it done as quick and as soon as possible. Let's start with the Raw Women's Championship. I, for one, am excited for literally every single match on this card. This match is going to be good. These two are going to kill it. But with everything going on with Uncle Howdy and everything, the story has definitely been interesting going into the Royal Rumble. I would love Alexa to win the title. It's been a long time since she has held a women's title in WWE or a singles woman's title. And I I just don't think they're taking the title off of Bianca yet. I think she's going to hold it to at least WrestleMania. So I think Bianca is going to win here. I, for one, am very excited for the Mountain Dew pitch black match. I mean, Bray Wyatt's first match back. Against LA Knight, I mean, both men are mega stars. They are superstars in their own right. Bray Wyatt's first match back, I mean, they have been killing it with this rivalry. That that segment on Monday Night Raw, Raw 30 with The Undertaker with both of them, absolutely incredible. I had chills down my spine. It was just an amazing moment, incredible moment. And honestly, I think this is going to be a really great match. I'm not exactly sure how, what the match rules are, but I assume it's like a lights out match, like no rules, just pin for our submission, I would assume. But with it being Bray's first match back, I don't think LA Knight's going to get this win. I think LA Knight, in a defeat to Bray Wyatt in a match like this, he'll be just fine. I mean, he's a mega star. He'll be just fine. But I think Bray Wyatt needs this win more than LA Knight. Let's move on to our first Royal Rumble match, the women's Royal Rumble match. And honestly, I think this is very unpredictable. I think I know who I want to go with for this prediction to win. But, I mean, you got the names of Candice LeRae, Shayna Baszler, Liv Morgan, Emma, uh, Raquel Rodriguez, Leo Lipley, and there's surprises. There's people that haven't even been announced that we don't know yet. Somebody could return, like, say, Chelsea Green, who's been reported that she might be in the Royal Rumble. She could return and win it. I don't think she will. The woman who I think is going to win the Women's Royal Rumble, I think it's going to be Rhea, because I think she needs it more, honestly. She needs another championship opportunity. And if Bianca holds the title till WrestleMania, right there is one of your main events for night one or night two. Rhea Ripley versus Bianca Belair. That would... That, that right there is money. That match is money, and I think it would be great. We were supposed to have it a long time ago, then Rhea went away for a little bit, and I think we're going to get that matchup at WrestleMania, so I think Rhea is going to win. I was going to leave this for last, but since the Royal Rumble, most likely will be the main event of the Royal Rumble, I thought we'd talk about this now. The Undisputed Universal Championship is on the line, and Kevin Owens is taking on the champion, Roman Reigns. I think this is going to be great. Their match they had a few years ago during the Thunderdome era at the Royal Rumble, uh, the last man standing, that was great. And also the whole storyline going on with the bloodline, them doubting Sammy, the trial of Sammy, Kevin being involved in that. I mean, honestly, it has been an amazing storyline but I think Roman Reigns is going to get the win here. As much as I want Kevin Owens to win that, I f have a feeling I know where things are going. I feel like Roman Reigns is going to win. And I feel like somehow at the Elimination Chamber, it's going to be Sammy versus Roman for both the titles in Toronto. And then I think Roman will win that. And then we're going to get Kevin and Sammy winning the tag titles from the Usos at Mania Night 1 or Night 2. I'm not sure. But I think I got to go with the Tribal Chief on this. As much as I want Kevin Owens to win, I got to go with I got to go with Roman. Now let's talk about the Men's Royal Rumble, which I think is honestly very predictable, but it could also end up being unpredictable because you know they might not have Cody win. I don't know. I mean, look at the field that we have in here. We have Drew. He's already won a Rumble. Braun Strowman. He won the Greatest Royal Rumble. Uh, Rey Mysterio, Kofi, Bobby, Sheamus, he won a Royal Rumble. Seth, he won a Royal Rumble. We got Ricochet, we got Santos Escobar. I mean, this field is stacked, and we still don't even know the whole field yet either. That's like half of them. We still got surprises. You know, everybody was maybe rumoring that The Rock would show up and win it, which I don't think they should do that at all. I would love to see The Rock return, but he does not need to win the Rumble. There's been reports, rumors of people hoping that Jay White's in it. I hope that's true. I would love to see Jay White in the Royal Rumble, but I think it's predictable, honestly, for me. I, I got to go with Cody Rhodes. I mean, he came back to WWE, had amazing matches with Seth Rollins, then got injured, and honestly, I have a huge amount of respect for him wrestling with that torn peck at Hell in a Cell. I mean, it was amazing. But I got to go with Cody Rhodes. I think he needs this win. I think he is finally ready 
for that big moment. He's finally ready for that world championship, and that's going to happen at WrestleMania after he wins the Royal Rumble. 